Welcome back to another vlog. My name's Claire. I'm a general practice nurse. I know it's exciting. Um, I'm in the same clothes as my last video because I'm doing it on the same day to save me time. And yeah, so don't judge me for wearing the same clothes. <laughs> it's the same day. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do this little vlog that I said in my last video just to show you how to look for a good quality general practice GP, surgery, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the video for you if you're thinking about applying to GP, what to look for, how to find a supportive practice, things like that. I'm going to give you all the tips to apply and yeah, help you get through that process and hopefully you're going to find a great practice for you. So tip number one is the first thing you want to do is go onto the GP that you're applying for website. I do this with all of my applications. I check out their website. I see what services they do because that's going to give you a rough idea of the things that you'll be doing as a practice nurse. Um, th there'll be all sorts like dressings, maybe home visits, potentially. Um, not every GP does that, but some do. Long term condition management, that sort of thing. Have a look and see what services they do. Tip number two is have a look at the staff. On every GP page that I've seen so far has a staff section. Have a look, how many nurses do they have? How many HCAs do they have? Do they have a phlebotomist? Do they have a paramedics? How many GPs do they have? Have a look at the staff ratio to the patient ratio. How many patients are registered at this practice to how many staff? And this is probably my biggest tip if you want a supportive practice, because if you think about it, if you are going into a really small practice with, or even a big practice, any practice um, with you as the only nurse is not gonna be good. Who's gonna support you? Who's gonna be doing your appraisals? How are you gonna ask other nurses when there's no other nurses working there and that that sort of practice where there's only one other nurse maybe is probably not going to be the best and the most supportive however i may be wrong you might find that the practice is actually a really good practice and they give you all the support and all the training but the way that I've seen it out there and my personal experiences, if you're the only nurse or there's just you and one other person there, there's, there you're not going to get the type of support that you need, especially if you're a newly qualified nurse um, or new to GP. If you've done it before and you've got experience and you're quite a confident nurse, that might be OK. But especially for especially for newly qualified nurses, you want good staff to support you and you need to have the right amount of staff there to support you if that makes sense um, so that is my biggest tip look at the staff in um, and if they're going to support you and then when you get your interview if you are applying to a small practice that's only got weight maybe you and one other nurse ask them that question you know what support am I going to get in place how are my supervision going to work um, what's my induction package going to look like things like that ask them the question and hopefully they're going to answer you well <laughs> if they don't and they haven't got any support in place I don't know if it's worth it. Have a look at a different practice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hate me for saying that. But the last thing you want is to start somewhere, be stuck, feel really unsafe, get really anxious, worry about going in because you're left on your own a lot um, and nobody to talk to and nobody ask questions, to ask questions to and things like that. So make sure you are well supported because that is going to be the biggest, biggest thing that's just going to help you massively throughout all of it. Tip number three, look at their CQC report, look through it. There is a big summary page at the beginning of a CQC report that breaks it all down for you. Have a look at that and just see what the advisories are. If there are any advisories, is it CQC good, outstanding? Um, are there any improvements? What are those improvements? Because they might be just minor improvements um, that's needed, or it could be big things like patient care and safety, which is going to be a massive walk in red flag. <laughs> um, so look at the CQC report, see what they do well. Do they care about their patients? And that's one of the things that I checked as well. Um, with this current surgery was their CQC was outstanding last time. And I've never seen that in GP practice. Never good. Yeah. Some improvements. Yeah. 
um, outstanding. I've never seen that. If you've seen that, please comment below because I want to know how many more out there are outstanding. And I looked through the comments and what, what, why was it so outstanding? And it was all to do with actually a lot of the patient care and the response times and wait times for the patients. And it was all very, very patient focused. So I knew that they were a good quality care in surgery that actually gave a damn about their patients and their staff. Um, and that was really, really nice to see. So have a good rummage around the CQC report as well, because that's going to give you the vibe of, is this a good practice? And my last tip is, uh, before you have your interview, sometimes practices will let you do a little informal visit just to go and have a look around and meet the staff. And you can usually gauge a place, gauge? <laughs> you can usually gauge a place from your, your visit, your first day, you will know whether this is okay. Um, you normally get a really nice feeling, everything feels like it's going to be supportive Every, everyone looks really happy everyone's saying hi to you everyone's asking questions who you are where you're from that sort of thing um like they, they take a general interest in you and you just get this nice vibe from the place and that's exactly what i got from this place and the portsmouth place as well when i looked around i was just like this is incredible this is a really nice practice you just know and yeah when you compare it to the one that isn't so good um yeah, you know the difference, trust me. You'll get that gut instinct that says, yeah, this is going to be the place for me. And you kind of know as well, you know, from your interview, from your first days there, you kind of know whether it's going to be good or not, um, just from those sort of days. And if your gut's sort of triggering some red little sprinkly flags um, <laughs> that's saying this is a bit of a warning, it's probably a good sign that it's not going to be good potentially. Now, I just wanted to give my last little thing here. If you are going into GP, you're new to qualified nurse, will you please, please let me know? Um, let me know um, if they've not given you any paperwork type of things for your induction, like I've got, you know, like the induction pack with all the details and things like that. I'm going to make some little things from what I've got, removing all the confidentiality and turn it into um, a generic thing that that can be like a generic package for people. I'm gonna turn that into that. So if if you want something like that, if you need something like that at your clinic, please let me know and I will email it to you. Just, yeah, comment below, get hold of me on social media, inbox me. Also, um, I've mentioned this in previous videos. If you Google um, QNI GPN template, they've got a whole induction template on there as well. It's really, really good. It's got everything in there. Um, about like your training at the start and what you should be doing and getting signed off and it's got little sign off boxes and things like that so have a look at that as well that'll be um, a massive help as well yeah but if you need anything if you're going into GP you're new like the little crib sheets like I said with the medications and the bloods and things like that can be a massive help so if you need that let me know and I will send it to you I will try and set up probably not today over the weekend <laughs> I will try and set up um, like a, um, a downloadable PDF document type of thing and I'll put it on my link tree or something so people can just go there instead of emailing me you can just go there and download it if you want it um, I'll try and do something like that to help you out um, but yeah but that's it I just wanted to give you some tips on what to look for um, for GP when you're going in I hope that helps um, and I hope you find an amazing practice like I have like I said I've worked in two incredible practices um and yeah that they were really really nice so i hope this video has helped in some way i hope i've given you something to think about and have a look at anything else please comment below inbox me my inbox is always open on all social medias so let me know and yeah i'll get back to you but good luck you've got this go for it